Well, you know what's so wild, you guys? Somebody said this to me, and it's so true. People were like, the most, the big reveal or, like, the shocking thing that actually happened last night was seeing them giggle in that dressing room. Virtual reality. Hi, I'm Danny. And I'm Evan. And Evan, because we are finally out of the scandal, let everybody know who we had to bring in to unpack it with. We have none other than Amanda Hirsch from the Not Skinny But Not Fat podcast. And it is such an honor to unpack Scandaval after part three of the Vanderpump Rules reunion, which just aired. I feel like all three of us are still buzzing from what we just witnessed. Amanda, just give us your like first initial like sentence, your thoughts. Like what, what's going on in your mind right now? I think that um, uh, James Kennedy really said it best, you know, when he posted that story being like, he thought you were over it. Like, just wait, you'll be like, I like to say back under it again. And I was there. I was over it. I was like, okay, we get it. Like, even though, you know, it was consuming me, but I, but it's like, I I was a little past it, you know, more interviews were coming out. Nothing really new was said. And after last night, I was like, nope. I'm back here. I'm back here. Can't sleep. Woke up thinking about it. Still having like aha moments. Still trying to unpack it. So I think James Kennedy really nailed it. Like it got us back to where we started spinning about it. And I'm glad you say that James Kennedy nailed it because I do feel like even though, of course, it was Ariana's moment, James and Lala, all three parts of this reunion really, really delivered. And they kept me, every time they got out of their seat, I was up. I I felt connected to them. I know. There were moments where I was like, please, though, like, I do want to hear them, you know, I want to hear them answer the question, you know, and I want to see where they take this and if they lie and if they have their stories matched up. But James and Lala really couldn't help themselves. You know, my husband doesn't watch and he, I made him last night. I was like, even people that aren't watching are watching. Like, you sit your ass down. And he asked me, like, wait, why is that dude so mad? And I was like, oh, he was engaged to her, you know, and they broke up. He's like, okay, so why is he so mad? Why is he more mad than than the girl that was cheated on? And, I mean, he is pretty f***ing mad. And Lala, too. And I have to say I love Lala, and I'm scared of Lala, so I hope she doesn't hear this. But when who said that Sandoval said Lala you don't care about Ariana and I did kind of do a rewind in my brain like Lala and Ariana don't have a great history right The like I was born cool that was a fight like yes she ate her out we all know but it's not like they have been best of friends so I do wonder and I think Lisa was trying to understand where all that anger is from. Yes, she hates Raquel. Yes, she doesn't like Sandoval. Yes, she's projecting a little bit. How much of that is, I just care about Ariana. You know, how much of that is is there? I, I think that's the smallest percentage of the other things. I think her hatred for Sandoval, her hatred for Raquel, and the fact that she, like, knew it, you know, and the fact that she just dealt with an asshole – like, just that's the bigger thing for Lala than her, you know, love for Ariana. Totally. That's a really good point. And I I forgot about their history together. And, you know, it was like, oh, yeah, like they really haven't actually had the best run. But Lala, she is just like the performance has been so good. And then she like <laughs> got me right back in when she was talking about I loved her enough to eat her cookie in the backseat of her car. Like, it, I was just like, oh, my God, I don't even care if you were rude to Ariana in the past. You're just, you are giving me Lala and it's just like giving me everything. I don't know. I, I hope that from here on out, that tiny like 10 percent of it being a true love for Ariana, like is able to grow. Yeah, maybe they did. Maybe they started bonding more because they both dealt the with narcissism. That. Yeah. But listen, if I was Allie, I would I would be like, OK, relax. OK, relax. This doesn't have to do with you. You know what I mean about James? Because as much as, like you said, the perf- performance wise, thank you. We love it. But I'm just thinking about the relationships. Like, is he so mad because Sandoval was a friend or is he so mad because Raquel, you know, and him have that history? Is it combined or is he like a little hurt because maybe he's not completely over it. I think what we also fail to remember is Raquel broke up with James. You know what I mean? 
Oh my God, so yes. he has, And with the ring back, yeah. She gave the ring back. She kind of humiliated him. I mean, his ego, he has a big one. I mean, on, to, on the reunion, he, he was like, do you want this back? So I think it's so layered but it's just wild like what as a as seeing someone that doesn't know watch it and james and lala being the loudest there and ariana kind of even though she had amazing moments of fucking giving it to them uh she was more contained than james and lala i feel like kept on waiting to be like okay we're gonna get something from ariana and she would just be like because like, she had no time to like hop in i think she kind of almost appreciated like let these people all shout for me I'm just gonna chill. I'm tired and I'm just gonna look good in my dress. This dress is not easy to move in. So it's hard to lunge and everything. So I'm just gonna be relaxed like that. And I like that you brought up Lisa trying to like call out Lala a little bit. What were your thoughts on Lisa's overall um, arc in the reunion? Cause I feel there were moments for Jersey fans where she was trying to be a little bit of a Dolores edging the line of the Toms and everybody else. What are your like? What's your takeaway from Lisa now? I understand it. I think I just watched the Variety interview with Sheena and um, Andy, um, where Sheena was saying like, usually Lisa will kind of protect the one person that everyone's ganging up on, and I think that's needed. Like, I know not a lot of people w- will agree with me and will be like, she should have, you know, fucking given it more to Sandoval. But like, everyone was doing that. So it's like, if you're seeing somebody being just piled on, even though he deserves it, I kind of understood where she would say, hey, now let's give a minute or Lala, you fucked up too. Because at the end of the day, and like, they'll say this too, none of them there, aside from fucking Ariana and Katie, have a clean history. So it is, there is a tiny bit of hypocrisy to say, you know, you're cheaters and disgusting, which they are. You guys have f***ed up too, so I think think it's just like there needs to be more. Even though James is like, that was 10 years ago, and Lala was like, that was this. But it still happened. I mean, none of you have a clean slate aside from Ariana and Katie, and they can sit there and be, you know, virtuous and say, we never f***ed up because they didn't. The other people did, so I think that Lisa trying to just say that. um, And Andy said that too. I mean, as much as this is the most shocking f***ing thing that ever happened, Sandoval forgave Jax for fucking Kristen in the next room. They came back from that. Yeah. Like, Very true. They <laughs> came back. I know you guys are like sh- shocked at my takes today. It's I'm because- loving it. No, I, I kind of have a similar one. Because I think it's so, I mean, we already know the like, it's disgusting. They're, you know, the subhuman, whatever. I have to say something about that too. As much as it's disgusting, If I did what Raquel did, I mean, obviously I wouldn't and I would act differently, but I wouldn't let people talk to me like that. I think that the way she was talked to, it was subhuman, you know? And at the end of the day, like, you know, I I don't know. I was kind of taken aback, like, whoa, the way people are just like, you're worthless, you know, you don't deserve to, to live kind of a vibe. I was like, wow, like at the end of the day, Andy said that actually when he was on my podcast, he said it a few times. It was like, he's a person. She's a person, you know? And I think I think that was forgotten a little bit. And we know fucking reality TV, everyone forgets that everyone's a person. But wow, there were moments when they were attacking her. Tom, I didn't care about as much. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm a woman. I don't know. Th- to him, I was like, tell him all the things. To her, even though she's so messed up, at points I was like, you know, because they were saying fucking harsh shit. Like, you don't deserve to breathe. You're not this. You're not that. And I was like, whoa, like, I don't know that she should even take that. And I know because I feel less bad when they're yelling at Sandoval, too. And I think it's also because looking at the two of them, he gives me more the evil maniacal. Like, he's doing this on the person he was building his entire life with and kind of getting off on that. She, even though, like, she is 27, so she is a fully-fledged adult, she just strikes me like she's crying over pageants. Like, she's such, <laughs> like, um, like a mental baby that I know she knew what she was doing, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, girl, you just need one person in your corner who you could, you should have, like, confided in, like, a friend that's not on the show to be like, bitch, get it together and stop doing these games. Like, she needs someone like that, and she didn't have it. And she had, I was shocked not even, like, 
Schwartz was trying to, I think he was just like Xanax out by that point, trying to like hop in to defend as like a little middle ground for her because she she couldn't say anything. She couldn't yeah, say and like anything. there was a point like during the pileup on Raquel, like you kind of just mentioned, Amanda, it was kind of the vibe of like, you don't deserve to live. And I, I when I was, and I went to the LA watch party at Surrey last night and people were like, pr- pretty quiet and tapped in and there was just kind of like a moment where I like looked around the room and I was like this is this is actually like kind of feeling a little dark like I'm not enjoying and then like you know there were some people in the corner like clapping and cheering and I was like like that's just gonna like really penetrate her psyche there's no way that it can I don't I don't want Raquel to like you know do any like that 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 thought and that fear runs through my mind and then I was also thinking Although, like, Ariana has every right to be so upset, wouldn't it be, like, amazing if, like, she could just, like, put one more jewel in her crown and be like, look, like, I am i don't fuck with you anymore. I'm not your friend. I'm never going to be your friend. But I want to let everyone out there know that this girl is a human. She has feelings. She's a person. And, like, we're not going to say and do things that would make her potentially, like, you know what I mean? Like, I just, yeah, she needed someone. yeah. I mean, I, I don't think it could have been Ariana, but yeah, she, Ariana said some really intention. I was also surprised that Ariana, even after everything and knowing how disgusting Tom is and knowing still was like, this is an abom- abomination. You guys shouldn't be together. When will this click? Like she still wants them to break up, which like, I feel like was kind of weird. I would kind of be like, you deserve each other. Go live your life, you know? And like you said, like, I don't care anymore, you know? But she was very adamant. She said it a few times, like, this is disgusting. This needs to end. Tom, why would you want to be with somebody like this? I feel like with everything, and even though, I mean, let's be honest, you guys, she is living her best life right now. I hope that as much mentally, Glamour Magazine front cover. Hello, Duracell commercial. I mean, I'm sure she's fucking money aside. It must feel good to get this amount of love from people. I don't know if you guys know, and I've said this um, on my show. It was, it's very eerie. I was watching, do you remember the episode this season when Katie, uh, Raquel, and Ariana went to dinner? And this was before Scandal. This was when it was still the Schwartz thing. And I remember just watching that episode and randomly being like, oh, Ariana, I love her so much. Like, she never gets enough love. Like, People don't love on her enough. That's how I felt. Like, I've had her on my show a few times. And we always felt like, you know, it was Stassi who was the big star. And Ariana never got kind of, like, the people's, you know, admiration. She got, like, oh, Ariana's cool. But so I was just like, let's take a moment. Lala's fucking amazing. She's such a real one. She's so cool, you know. And, you know, she wrote back, like, love you. And I was like, love you. And then her Instagram deactivated. And I was like, oh, my God, is that was was that me? And it was that day, you guys. I texted her and I was like, is everything OK? Like, did I post something not OK? And she was like, no, you know, something really fucked up happened. And, you know, I found out something. She didn't tell me what. She was like something diabolical, blah, blah, blah. I was like, hope everything is OK. Two fucking minutes later or whatever, two hours. I can't remember the TMZ thing dropped. And I was like, oh, my God. My point in saying that was that I always felt like she deserved more love. And I wish that she was getting all of this not because she was a girl that was cheated on. You know what I mean? Which must feel a little weird. And I feel like at some point I can't help but wonder if she'll be like, I don't want that to be my story anymore. You know, I me, I've been cool all along. I was born cool. She was born cool. She is cool. So I am glad she's getting the people's love and getting all these opportunities. But I'm sort of worried as to like what's going to happen. How long is this going to last? You know, people just lean in. Brands are leaning in. You know, magazines are leaning in. And, you know, she'll want to live her life and not have to fucking talk about Scandaval anymore. I know. I feel like that's such a true point because A, it's like not fun for her to always like redo this. She's like, because I feel like ever even the Glamour magazine, because also now it's broaching to like larger audiences who weren't as tapped into like people that were watching all the time. So they're like, so when your grandma died, right? Okay, so they went and then she has to be like, yeah, so I was out of way. And like, it's just like the constant <laughs> yeah. repeating of it. And I feel like almost it might be good too, because I know they haven't said anything with like contracts and stuff. If they give everybody a little bit of a beat 
for dust to settle because I'm also going back to your first point. I'd be really interested to watch in the upcoming season how these new relationships that were all like, like Sheena and Katie are like, we are each other's sisters now. Lala and Ariana, everyone's like, James is the best. How long is that going to last in yeah. like the day to day? Well, I don't know if you guys watched the Variety interview, um, but the producers said, you know, season 11, hopefully is going to start filming really shortly. And our plan is for the whole cast to come back. And our plan is for the story. I just got goosebumps because I'm a fucking loser, everybody. And uh, our plan is for the story to be the unfolding of the aftermath. So I got so excited because I was like, wow, that's what we want. Like, thank you. That's what we want. We want everybody back. Sorry, everybody. You know, and Andy said that, too. I hate like I hate what happened to Ariana and he's literally said in these words, I'm team Ariana, but I'm also team Sandoval coming back on the show. Like, of course, that would make amazing fucking TV. I mean, and, you can't look at those ratings and think otherwise. And you can't look at the fact that how many people started watching the show from season five, six, one because of Scandival. I mean, how many people are looking at Glamour magazine saying, who is this girl? And 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 being like, oh, no, I need to find out because the whole world knows and I don't know. It's just so fucking wild and it's just crazy. It has more layers. I have to tell you guys when all that, you know, those rumors were going on personally, I was like, I, there's one thing that I hope isn't true. I really hope the lightning bolt necklace shit isn't true. I don't know why. I was like, that would just be so nice if, if they were like, no, we just happened to have it. I don't know. That's one thing. I was like, please don't make this f- cringe lightning bolt necklace thing true and then the, that we see and Raquel admits and basically she kind of did it I mean we don't know if he was like go out and buy a fucking lightning bolt necklace but she did she went out and bought a lightning bolt necklace to symbolize their relationship so it's like as much as we maybe want to be like she's so dumb pageants whatever those are calculated moves those are decisions you are making you know, you're making that conscious decision to buy the necklace while Ariana's your friend, while you're sitting with her at fucking Lake Havasu or whatever the f- and her being like, yeah, we're all friends. Of course you sleep over. Of course you're in the jacuzzi. It's just so wild. Meanwhile, she f***ed him in the jacuzzi. You bring up such a valid point that I feel hasn't been discussed enough in discussing her. She's a Swifty. And as one, we are maniacal geniuses when it comes to love and relationships. I could imagine her playing mastermind on loop <laughs> while she's wearing that necklace, being like, it is all worth it. I am in my reputation era. Like, it doesn't matter. Call it what you want, babe. Like, I know she oh has God, a specialized Swift Sandoval playlist. Do you think she went to the Eras tour on the DL with, like, some... She like, like snuck out of the mental health facility. <laughs> or she's like, I'm Gail's backup dancer. No, like how did, like if she's a Swift, do you think she would have missed this? Wait, I, she's LA is in August. I'm going, Evan's got, wait. Oh, we have to keep eyes out. We'll see her there. And unfortunately, and I'm sorry to everyone in the Vanderbilt Rules guys, I'm not gonna like, I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna say like, I don't know about you. Like I can't not <laughs> sing with anybody around me then. So I might <laughs> sing with Raquel. I mean, it was just, wild i mean i'm so glad that we got to watch that piece of television and that we got her after interview and i'm dying to know the thing is about me like i could ask the people like in the cast right for some reason i love being just a viewer and taking what i'm given in this weird way i'm like i don't want to know you know there is one thing i do want to know that i am going to try to find out which is if they're still together that's something that i i do want to know because it would be so interesting to me if he for me i'm the opposite of ariana i'm like i really hope they're together like if you're gonna up and blow up your lives like this which you both did i don't care how you flip it make it worth it for you at least Right. And then that also would make people not like in five years or so, you're just ship. like, yeah. <laughs> we ship, huh? <laughs> or I'm just like, okay, y'all are, you guys speak a language as Taylor Swift said, you taught me a secret language. Like you talk, like you guys speak a language that we don't get. Just do that. Yeah. I almost like, feel like they could go like the Spidey route, you know? What's the Spidey route? Spencer and Heidi from the hell. Oh. 
because you know like you know how spencer and heidi like once they became like full-on like turbo villains they just kind of like filmed on their own together it was kind of like mm. you like i don't know bonnie and clyde like i feel like if tom and raquel would just like commit to each other they could be the spidey of vanderpump rules and just sort of like film in their own little bubble and then like producers can set up situations where they like run into the cast at like a, a bar or an event or something and then it's like oh my god like they're running into you know i don't know I well you know what's so wild you guys somebody said this to me and it's so true people were like the most the big reveal or like the shocking thing that actually happened last night was seeing them giggle in that dressing room if anything was jaw dropping to people that, you know, have done some digging and kind of know the other stuff. That moment, I rewound it, you guys. I was like, I need to see that fucked up situation again where they're giggling. As yeah, it was so, so cringe. Like, I, oh, my God. I I still but, like. But cringe, BBDs. but don't you want more? But oh. cringe, but don't you want more? Yeah. <laughs> and also the insanity of, like, she just got ripped apart for, like, probably three hours because we saw it edited out. And she's like. James called Ali and up. Uh, That's your takeaway. Maybe oh it was like God. a coping mechanism. I mean, that's what everyone's saying. Like, oh, she's smiling. Well, not everyone, but people that are trying to understand. Like, oh, some people, you know, smile or laugh or giggle in nervous situations. But like you're saying, like, this was different. She literally came out and said he called. And then she goes, well, she is now. Like, admitting, like, I'm a piece of shit. Like, yeah, I guess she is okay, an upgrade. so maybe some self-actualization. <laughs> maybe and she got a horoscope reading from Allie and she's learning. <laughs> and maybe, like, self-deprecation. I don't know. As much as it was cringy, it also, like you said, I can imagine that being a next season, having them have these talks of everyone hates us, you know, I ran into this, ran into that. I mean, it's needed. Let's not pretend Vanderpump Rules what season nine was not good. Okay. And what this season is. And at the end of the day, I would never say this if people weren't better for it. Like Ariana, you know, it's like Ariana, if she's not saying a little prayer at night being like, wow, thank you. Like, thank you God and f***ing Raquel and Tom for doing this because she's living f***ing life right now. Oh my god, I know. I just read the Glamour article and it said that like her estimated earnings since Scandaval like is a million dollars. Isn't that wild? Wild. I need to and find a man to break my heart this publicly. <laughs> and you know though, you know Tom, I didn't believe a word of his cries. But I mostly didn't believe that he's, you know, in her corner happy for her because, you know, he's fucking voodoo, voodoo dolling. Like, he's so jealous. He was so jealous of her when he did love her and was like, you know, loyal to her. So I'm sure now he's probably like so pissed that he's getting on and she's getting a million dollars. Right. And he's like not getting the Duracell commercial, which by the way was like filmed in their house. I just imagine him like upstairs just like seething and like <sighs> tipping his white nail polish off. Like this could be me. Like No, you know he fucking hates you know I, I maybe he'll like sue like you did maybe he'll be like you needed my permission to use the house as the backdrop of the glamour of the Duracell of it all so he would do that he, he really would I feel like if anything bothers him the most it's that she's getting so famous from this a thousand percent and I wonder if it annoys him too that it has reignited cast members who were more loved than him coming back into the fray because like Jax, Brittany and Kristen now are kind of having their own little resurgence. Are you into returners or are you kind of like, let's just move forward with who we got? No, I am I could be into them. I don't, you think they'll return though? I don't think so. I think, I think Kristen would. I And I think Jax and Brittany seem to be like campaigning for it. You don't think so? Like on the show, on the show? I don't know. I think it's, it's kind of, I mean, listen, I don't judge because at the end of the day, who of the cast didn't make a buck off this scandal, you know, like merch and it's like hairdressers are talking, designers are like, who isn't coming forward? Like, wait, didn't Nick Vial have in his podcast, like the dress 
person. You know what's yeah. really, He had Charlie on. <laughs> like, I feel like everyone is having the moment of, okay, I'll talk about this. So Jax, you know, I, I thought it was funny. Jax um, and Sheena were talking about, and Brittany, that someone had died close to Sandoval uh, and, cl- like, knew them all, but I guess Sandoval the most. So they were talking about um, their debate if to text him or not. And Sheena said she actually texted him. And that he didn't answer, which I'm like, okay. Um, I feel like he would be more despo than that and at least be happy that someone that said that they would never talk to him again is talking to him again. So I thought the same, him. yes. But it was just funny to me where Jax was like, I was con- I was debating too, like, I don't know. And I'm like, Jax, what the fuck? <laughs> like, who? Like, what are you, what is your issue with him now? Like, you cared about Ariana? You care, you know what I mean? Like, if Jax hates Sandoval, it shouldn't be because of this scandal. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if anything, he was his friend. He wasn't Ariana's friend. It's just funny to me that he's putting himself in the loop of like, I know I didn't. We were thinking about it, but I'm too mad at him to text him. You know, it's like, what do you have to do with this? But you're right. He campaigned. He got they went to back and watch what happens live. You know, he they have that peacock thing. Yeah, they have the peacock thing. So. You know, if they want their moment from this, then f-ing take it. Yeah. I also think that they could make better use of Charlie in this whole situation. Like, in what way? I feel like she has hot takes. I feel like she is also someone who might be willing to film with Raquel. I'm not saying that, she, in, not in a friendly way, but, like, she would maybe just, like, be in the same room with Raquel and a camera and could be some sort of bridge. I feel like Charlie could do that. I feel like, cause I, I love my Shishu so much and I know that she has a good heart and that is evident in her texting Sandoval to see how he yeah. is doing. I, I'm not, I, I'm just, I don't want Sheena to think that, I, I don't want to put this on her, but I feel like she could also be a bridge kind of character. It, I know that the Ariana friendship is super important, so I don't know how Ariana would feel about it. Yeah, I wouldn't. I mean, Ariana is not going to... I feel like Ariana would be mad, you know, at us if we talk to Raquel. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like the I, I the way she said, like, you think anyone's going to... You think anyone's going to be your friend? Like, she made it very clear that, like, she got mad at Lisa for a minute. Yeah. And then she realized, like, she's kind of my boss. Yeah, she's like, but... wait, what's the name of the show I'm on? Got it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But for a minute, she was like, you know, for a minute, she kind of forgot and was kind of like, yeah, well, if you're cool with him, then no. Um, and then she was like, no, I mean, you know, just in. But but I was like, whoa, she is really, you know, not going to be accepting of anyone being friends of both. Um and it is a wild situation to be in, but I would assume that there are people that are close enough to Sandoval that aren't going to drop him because he cheated. You know what I mean? Like Schwartz. But the cast does think that Schwartz should drop him because of the cheating. And the cast does think that Schwartz should have told on him, which I was always questioning. I was like, do you guys really think that a best friend should tell on a best friend? However... It became very evident yesterday, evident yesterday, especially after we found out that they f***ed in Mexico, that there is no way Schwartz didn't know. He was tonguing her while he's fucking her, and he's saying that he felt like Casanova. Like, no, 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 babe. No, 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 no. And I've been in Schwartz's corner a lot of times, but no. Well, Schwartz, actually, he, and there's so much, like, Scandival content to consume, but he just went on Jax and Britney's podcast and said that he's taking a break from Sandoval and that he is finally realizing that his kindness was taken advantage of. And I think he used some strong adjective. I think, of course, because what did he call him? So he, big. he loves an adjective. Wait, I'm going to look it up right now because it was like, I was like, okay, Tom Schwartz. Um, I love no. that he realized he had one day left to announce that before the reunions. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wait, but did you realize that in, in the part three, um, after Sandoval said the horrible, she kept her T-shirt on, he apologized to Schwartz. Did you guys catch that moment? Wait, no. T- tell me about it. So, so after he said that and everyone was shocked, Schwartz was like, man, man. like, And then Sandoval's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, said sorry to Schwartz like for disappointing him in that moment. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
I mean, that was so disappointing. I was at the FYC event a few weeks ago and they played that clip for attendees Oof. hoping that they could get some Emmy votes. And when it played, like everyone was just like aghast. Like you could just like feel the room. How didn't, how didn't he stop himself from saying that? It's like, are you stupid? Are you stupid? Are you trying to get any, like you think the shaking and the crying, you say that it's done. It's done. How are you going to say that? He should have said like, yeah, of course I made love to you. Like I still loved you also. I don't know. That would have been better. A t-shirt. That but, but he didn't want to upset Ra- Raquel probably. He kept, what did he think? Understand his game plan at all. during no. all this? Cause I'm like, do you want us to feel sorry for you? Do you want to be a villain? Do you want to be crazy? Do you love Raquel? Do you still love Ariana? Like, what are your, what I don't even it? think. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, everyone thinks he's such a good coacher. He obviously, you know, didn't go in with a game plan because if you're going to say that, like, what did you think someone would be like? I mean, if she kept her shirt on, dude, then it makes total sense that you cheated. And or like, does it not count if she kept her shirt on? Like, like, I don't understand what the intention was and how he and how he could be more hated. But then do you know what? It's working out for Ariana yet again. She has the T-shirts. But you know what's so sweet of Ariana, which like this is what I think of the niche like nitty gritty. She's selling it on something about her, which would mean that Katie is probably getting halvesies or a cut. Like I would be like, excuse me, that's my line. That's true. Like, it's going on arianamatics.com, okay? I'm not making sandwiches with Amanda (laughs) Hearn. Like, excuse me, that's my... I'm just saying, like, the fact that a lot of things she's done for something about her, where, you know, not for just personal gain, for for the brand, is pretty cool. I can't wait for what they're going to name all their sandwiches, because I feel there's going to be... It's just going to be dragging people to hell. I hope that they... I know. I really hope that they... You know how there are actors and actresses that will come on, you know, an interview and be like, I'm not talking about this anymore. I hope that Ariana puts that kind of byline in. Maybe not now, but maybe like four months from now where it's like, this is me and I'm fucking cool and all this shit. But like, I'm not talking about this anymore. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, it's cheating and it's gross, but like. It's cheating. You know what I mean? Like they didn't kill anybody. They did it to like one person. It affected some people. But I can see a world in which some people like her. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, like, you know what I mean? I don't think it's like, oh, that girl cheated. She'll never be accepted in society again. One of the last famous cheaters is now the Queen of England. So. (laughs) Wow. No, true. Wow. I love the the correlation between Raquel and Camilla. (laughs) The correlation of the coronation. Yeah. Yeah. 